Gemini, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you are doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at the current energies, the person on your mind, possible outcomes. If you are looking for a new person, let's see who is this new person coming in or what is the next new person coming in and other details as well. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well. And I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule of the readings. It is in the description box below this video. Let's start by shuffling five times the deck and I will begin with the current energies. Two more shuffles. Somebody is very guarded here with that four of pentacles I saw there or does not want to open up. But let's see. What are the energies around you? You want to work on that, but you are still confused or you think that you will waste your time and energies working more on that. Especially because you cannot trust this person fully. I don't know if this is a based suspicion or not. It worries you that maybe they were not quite honest with you. Now let's continue with what is affecting you in your subconscious. You want to be happy. You want to protect that happiness. You don't want any um, circumstances or person out there to reflect your inner emotional world. It is uh, very uh, important for you. And if you can see, we have some walls here in this card. Look at that. Some of you might have uh, built some walls around, but the sun is still shining. So just be careful not to, to build those walls much higher, especially if you're looking to be in a connection because you might block somebody from entering into your castle. Let the sun shine and uh, be more open and be wise at the same time don't be a naive and idealistic okay let's see what was the main challenge in the past page of cups maybe there was a waiting period of for an apology but it didn't happen or it happened it was not said in the right tone or not what somebody here expected and waiting to see a comeback and commit but with that page of cups maybe the feelings uh, were not that strong anymore not that deep there might have been some feelings there but not expressed fully let's see more about the main challenge ace of swords and some problems with communication, especially being more straightforward and transparent and honest with each other. The communication was not the best. You are an air sign, so I think uh, mental connection is very important for you as well. Okay, let's continue with uh, what you want to avoid. You want to avoid waiting forever for a positive change here. Yes, you are trying to see their perspective, but they should see your perspective as well. They should try to be more on your shoes and look at the situation from your eyes. You might have been dealing with a very fixed attitude kind of person with that kind of behavior. A person that maybe wanted to be the boss in the connection, like it should have been going like they said or uh, their final word uh, the final word was theirs a very stubborn bossy kind of energy here you don't like that that is something you fear that might be repeated if that resonates if not i do see here you wanting more responsibility and focus and 
you want them to know better what they need, what they really need in a connection. Do they know what they want and need? Do they want to be in a relationship? Do they want to be more responsible and see things on a more stability level or not? Let's continue with this person. Let's see about their energies, their current energies. Let's see about them. They haven't lost that attraction for you, but they are not moving. They are not doing that much, showing you that. Yes, there's a strong physical chemistry here between you both. They know that. What is affecting them in their subconscious? They want to be in a relationship. Yes, they want to. They want to celebrate the love. But what is the blockage according to them? Stability? Somebody focusing too much at work and not giving much more time to the connection? Or somebody is not that serious or responsible? Not that focused? This is what is the main blockage according to them. What is on their mind? Okay, five of cups. They are very sad about that separation. They don't like that separation. They don't want to be separated from you. Okay, how did they enter this connection? Seven of pentacles. Why the seven of pentacles? Okay, they think, they thought in the beginning that no matter how hard they invested into that relationship with you, they would not see some positive progress or that big of progress. They didn't have expectations. Uh, they saw some resistance from you or, prob or probably a very challenging uh, overall connection that would need lots and have heavy investment into it to make it work. That's how they entered this. Now, what is their plan of action? Five of Pentacles, they will try to stay like that, playing the victim and feeling sorry and feeling sad and not doing anything. They are very let down here. What is the possible outcome? Let's see if that has changed from the previous readings or not. Four of Wands. You will try again. You both will try again to make this work. There will be a happy moment of uh, you celebrating the love. At least there's a happy, harmonious connection here. I'm not getting if you will be long term or not. You might or you might not. It is telling me that you will try in the near future to make this work. For some, it might happen that one or both of you will get into another connection. We'll see that it is not working. Uh, each one of you will be on the back of your minds and then you will try again and you will try to make it work or you will get more clarity that this is the best connection you ever had. Now, before jumping to the new person, if you want even more details about this person that is on your mind, there's an extended video with even more details about them, about the current energies. Uh, this video is in the description box below if you are interested. Okay, let's continue with the other scenario. If you are single and if you are looking for a new person, what is the energy of the new person coming in? Their overall energy. Okay, it happens fast. For some of you, there's some distance involved. Either it might be some long distance, because this eight of wands, it is long distance. It is not between towns or cities. It is between countries or states in general. Or it might even mean some communication through social media or online communication. That's how it happens. But it happens fast. There's strong attraction and desire there in this communication. Uh, this person might be a very uh, Scorpio. I think this connection will be very transformative for you. And uh, it might end completely the cycle of another connection. Meaning uh, if one of you at least has still some 
connections energetically with a past love story. This will put the end to that and uh, this person, it might be you or them or both of you, might totally heal from that story and move on. Or it may, may just be telling me that the person that you will be talking to has just ended recently a connection. It might be the case. Okay, that, that's where we go. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. So that is a very good thing. Overall, this is very promising. This is very good. It will be... Uh, you will reflect back and you will see that despite some minor challenges in the beginning that I will be uh, explaining immediately, this will be a very good one. Or it will put happiness, joy and, uh, yes, happy memories in your heart and in your memories. Now, what are some mini challenges here? The Strength and the Three of Swords reversed and the Death card. So it makes sense to me more the story of one of you. It seems them because I was talking about the new person. Them might have ended recently, very recently, the moment you start talking to them, a connection that was very important to them. And this person is very heartbroken and might have been cheated on. That's a possibility as well. And they are in the process of uh, processing all those mixed feelings and trying to heal and recover. That's when you start talking. And that's why I think with that strength, they will have resistance in the beginning to trust not only you, but anyone about jumping into a connection immediately. That is uh, that minor challenge. You need to be patient, I think. But let's see what is the overall advice for you regarding this mini challenge uh, the charity reverse okay you will see that there's a big friction in the beginning you might want to see some movement forward into a connection into a relationship here but there's friction and what is recommended for you is to accept that friction and be patient as i said and tolerate it somehow give it some time especially if you see the good into this person if you don't have any strange or off vibes from this person uh, give it some time don't see this challenge of the beginning as the end all of it or coming or jumping to conclusions immediately that is the advice that i have for this case overall it seems very very promising Gemini, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you like this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day and you can check the schedule. It is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.